Uh, welcome back my gardening friends. Well, I'm just trying to sort out the, the last little bit of uh, the uh, cannabis compost that uh, they unscrupulously uh, dump after they finish with it. And uh, I must say it's coming really useful. I've got uh, about eight of uh, the dustbin bags so I can uh, reuse those uh, later on. I've used all the uh, compost that we found before that was in the manure runoff on the different other projects. And I thought, well, I may as well get this used up. Sometimes it just takes a little bit of time to uh, break it up, depending on how good a grow uh, they've actually had. But uh, I'm uh, I like this, to use this as a mulch, it does blow around a little bit but I do find it's a good mulch because there's no uh, weed seeds in it so a little bit of root and that's about it I've got another bag to do, sharp boy to death with that but I'm also making use of one of the buckets that I found that we've dumped in a fly tip. I don't think I've ever had to buy a 30 litre bucket uh, in my life. Anyway, let's uh, just get finished and we'll meet you in the uh, root cage. something I've just done uh, some uh, of the erication compost on the other blueberries and the compost doesn't go very far so I'm glad I'll get this uh, compost uh, underneath just melts with the weeds the worms and drag this down and drop there and the most important thing Looks nice. Right, I'll get to the Heracacia compost and we'll finish this off. I normally make a bag last two years, but I, because I didn't do it last year and I used conifer Christmas tree, blueberries didn't do very well. Uh, the roots are very fibrous and they're at the top so as this uh, breaks down the, uh, they'll get uh, some nice uh, nice nutrients I'll just finish off out of camera and we'll have a little look round yeah so hopefully uh, the blueberries will uh, do a lot better and it's just a shame I can't get any wood chips. Uh, can't seem to get anything. I can't get scaffold planks. I can't uh, get uh, a few other bits. But what I do get, uh, I make uh, good uh, use of. And uh, in a previous video, you'll have seen me uh, collecting uh, some of the uh, three-year-old wood chips from the path and using those in my uh, seed, my homemade seed mix. So these are the uh, manure runoff bins. I'll collect the manure, horse manure, and uh, all the juices uh, should flow out and uh, fill uh, these containers. And because of the pandemic, I filled this one with uh, that cocoa koi. It's uh, now empty. So hopefully this summer, I'll be able to fill both of these bins. And uh, they've both got roofs on, collect the water, which uh, comes into here and then uh, it siphons across uh, to this one and of course because it's been so wet everything's uh, full but I managed and found time to uh, get the uh, giant uh, cabbage cage uh, all tidied up I've put an extra ring in there I've taken the other cabbage out there uh, the giant cabbages are now being planted I've got some 
street lamp covers I can put on there, double them up to help them. And uh, this just looks uh, completely tidy. And we did, as I said, save um, a, a poppy plant just to see what variety it was. So now I'll, uh, I'm going to use nettle plant food because I can get some more nettles uh, in the spring. Uh, the manure runoff bin on the left, uh, we've still got plenty, but of course I've got no uh, manure. So I'll just give this a bit of a stir up, and this is where I'll get in trouble with uh, Mrs. Mrs. K. I'll get any on me. And as always, if your plant food stinks, it's good stuff. cans filled up and I'll uh, bring you back I'm not going to bore you to tears so back in the uh, fruit cage all my uh, fruiting crops will get uh, some of this uh, plant food it's undiluted and uh, if you suffer with a bad back water with two cans Just uh, use a little bit of cardboard to uh, make myself a brew with everything being delivered in such a, a lot of packaging these days. I find it just as simple and therapeutic, and I can use the ashes uh, elsewhere. Really, I've spilt some plant food all over me. I'm going to disguise it with some bonfire smoke. <laughs> Whether that will work or not. Tom's beaten me again today, but I've managed to get a few bits done, and the allotment's looking a lot tidier. The uh, nettle plant food will just give them uh, a little boost. Now they're just started to uh, show signs of life, and uh, in the summer, just before fruiting, we'll give them some comfrey. Everything's free, bar from the Ericaceae compost. I've always had decent blueberry crop and I tried to skimp last year and it didn't work and there's some people who said if it isn't broke don't fix it so please uh, remember thumbs up or a thumbs down for the interaction leave me a comment let me know what you do and uh, happy gardening to you all 
Till next time, my friends. Ta-ra for now.